Hello guys, it's Machiavelli at Empower Gaming and today I'm going to show you guys a uh, fix for an issue with spawners, uh, silk spawners and selling spawners in spigot and craft bucket. So if you have a spigot server or a craft bucket server and you're having issues with uh, placing your spawner, I mean destroying it and instead you get a pig spawner back or you're trying to sell a, spa a custom spawner like a creeper spawner in your shop and it turns out giving you a pig spawner well there's a fix for that I found out a way so the plugins you're gonna need is silk uh, silk spawners and chest shop so here we go the first problem I had was when I tried to give myself a spawner using essentials which this is not gonna work but let me just show you so give myself 5298 this is uh, this is the ocelot spawner right so when I did that, it gives me a pig spawner. Yep, that does not work. That still does not work, okay? That's a problem with essentials. So we're not gonna be using that. So then we're not gonna be using that. Instead, we are going to be using slash SS creeper, for example. This is just an example. You could do it with anything. It gives you a creeper spawner inside your inventory, right? So my first problem was when I placed down the custom spawner that I gave myself, it would spawn, it would, it would be placed properly. It would say creeper spawner placed, and when I broke it, instead of saying creeper spawner broken, it would say pig spawner broken. So when I broke it, it would turn into a pig spawner for some reason. Okay, but um, I fixed that by downloading the latest um, Jenkins dev build of silk spawners and I'll put a link in that in the description so you're gonna have to download the latest development version of that and put it in your server that fixes that problem okay the second problem is selling the spawner okay now I figured out you can sell the spawners with chest shop okay now how do you do this well um, you're not gonna be putting the default ID like the meta ID or something like that you, you won't be doing that instead you will scroll on your creeper spawner or whatever spawner you have inside your inventory and this uses a different type of ID for some reason so let's just get it so with chest shop there comes a command called item info right when you type item info it gives you um, a different item ID instead of having this double dot thingy you're gonna have the number sign so yeah, you're going to be selling with the number sign. Let's do this real quick. So let's say, for example, uh, we're going to sell a creeper spawner because I know the idea of that already. It's in my hand. So wait, 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 what was it? It's 52 number sign 2. This is actually going to work. Look, admin shop 1. So I'm selling 1. Buy for $1. And the spawner ID, the, spa the spawner block is 52 and a number sign two there we go it says mob spawner number two now some players might get confused by this but they're really not gonna be when they buy it they, I mean yeah it's kind of okay so I'm gonna go in survival mode and I'm gonna buy it so I'm gonna clear my inventory first I bought a mob spawner now I'm gonna scroll over it and it's a creeper spawner woohoo look at that Creeper spawner placed and uh, okay. Let me give myself um, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Uh, diamond pickaxe one, enchant silk touch one. Now I'm gonna break it with the right permissions. It'll fall down and there we go. You broken creeper spawner you place a creeper spawner and that's basically it so you need the latest development version of silk touch spawners silk spawners and chest shop that's all you need anyway thanks for watching guys i hope this video helped you